All right, you never know it's spring in my neck of the woods. Check this out. Yeah, we're at the end of March. Spring is here and uh, we've got freaking snow everywhere. It's crazy. So I'm out today in the field and there's some uh, RC planes flying above my head. So if you hear any buzzing, that's what it is. And what I'm gonna do today is I have behind me here, I've got the Mavic and I have the Typhoon H. And I've done uh, firmware updates on both of them. Uh, there's firmware updates that came out in the month of March and I haven't tested them out. So I'm gonna check them out now. They both have the latest firmware updates. I'm gonna see if everything's A-OK. -okay. Here we go. All right, so I got the Typhoon H over there. And uh, like every time there's a firmware update, I guess it's time to do a compass calibration. So I'm gonna do that. I hate doing those things. Right. I got the GPS light, so all is well. Why does it have to be so cold in this country? Okay, so I've got 20 satellites. Uh, for the Typhoon H and I have oh 20 satellites for the ST16 as well. So I hit this little power button Should hear that thing moving Fingers crossed Here we go Make sure my switches are all a-ok -okay. everything works good there Get that down. Okay. So there we go looks pretty like it hovers nice to me so, so far I guess the firmware update is fine because that looks like it's great. Pop up the landing gear. That still works. Make sure that the camera still works for 360 degree rotation. Here's this camera looking at the drone. There's the Typhoon H looking at me. Now one thing I've noticed uh, for other Typhoon H owners too, they'll probably notice this, is that when you fly the Typhoon H, uh, you'll notice that it tends to take a little while to learn how to fly straight. So I'll give you an example. I'm gonna fly it back to me. It's got it nice and low here. Just still be in the camera, I'll just bring it close. All right. So we have the Typhoon H right here. Now I'm gonna fly it forward, straight forward. Let's see how straight it goes. There we go, a little bit of a drift to the right, very tiny amount. Now, if I do that again in about five minutes, it's gonna fly perfectly straight. Now, I haven't caused it to go lower to the ground, but it is losing height. It's probably about a foot to two feet lower than it was when I first started. I haven't changed anything. So the barometer inside, I guess it's getting used to the cold air out here since I brought it from out inside my car, which was warm, to the cold out here. The video's on, but it's only on like auto settings, so nothing fancy. Uh, so here we go, I'll just take it up, looking down at us. So I'm gonna send it a distance out. It's only, uh, from me right now, it's only 81 meters. broken down shed out here. There it is, right over there. Now once again I have the camera on auto settings and I think I'm on, I'm gonna stop the camera and I'm just gonna check what setting I'm on here. I'm on gorgeous is what I'm on. So I'm gonna change that to see if there's any change. Some people say that the new natural is pretty good. So there we go, I've changed it to natural. Now I'm kind of low to the ground so the signal is cutting in and out. So I'm gonna bring it back now, coming home. I'm only at a height of 20 meters. So I'm only 20 meters off the ground this whole time, just whipping above the trees. All right, so we'll bring the Typhoon H back. Bring it in for a landing. I do like I always do, I like to spin it around so the back is pointing towards me. Put the landing gear down. My hands are freezing. 
bring this thing over. So I'm going to bring it down and hand catch it as per normal. So there we go. So I think the firmware update is okay. No big deals with it. Uh, no big deals. No big deal with it. Uh, everything seems to work out well. Now let's try out the Mavic quick, make sure it works well. Now such a difference in size with the Mavic compared to the Typhoon. And it's so easy to to use this little thing. You take it anywhere. It's so portable. Okay, so the Mavic is over there and uh, since it had a firmware update, I'm going to do a compass calibration on it as well. The only time I do compass calibrations on the Typhoon H or the Mavic or the Phantom or any drone for that matter is after a firmware update or whenever it just seems to be going a little bit wonky when it's flying. It's not flying like it should. Then I'll do a compass calibration. But any other time, I don't bother with it. So here we go. Compass calibration on the Mavic. <laughs> Like the typhoon, you get a little flash in the back, it tells you it's all good. Satellites now, the typhoon was getting 20 satellites, the Mavic is only getting 17 satellites. Interesting. So, to start the Mavic, is just pull the two little thingies together, little joysticks, spins up, bring it down, bring it over so we can see it. So, just like the typhoon. The firmware update's pretty good because it's staying uh, perfectly still. I'm gonna bring it back. There's no obstacle avoidance on a Mavic in the rear, only in the front. Now I'll send it off forward, see if it actually flies straight. It looks like every now and then it wants to pull to the right a little bit, because that's where the wind's coming from. Uh, it's pushing everything to the right, but the Mavic is actually doing a better job than the Typhoon. It's actually staying perfectly straight. The same as with the Typhoon H. I don't have any settings. It's just the normal auto mode to... So whatever it captures, that's what it, uh, it captures for colors and for white balance. One thing I noticed on the Mavic already is that uh, even though I hit record, it's already turned off once on me and uh, I've had to hit record again. So I don't know if that's a glitch or something maybe because my hands are frozen, it didn't take. The Mavic seems to be working okay. The firmware update's gone well. It seems to fly as it should. Uh, I'm gonna do just like the uh, Typhoon. I'll send it backwards quite a distance, at about 500 meters, and uh, just make sure everything's okay. Battery's still good. My hands are freaking frozen, but here we go. All right, I'm at 500 meters. I'll go over and I'll find that shed. I'm still getting great communication with the Mavic. Uh, no breakup. The Typhoon was giving a little bit of breakup uh, because I was behind a set of trees. I'm 20 meters above the ground and 500 meters distance away from me. So lots of battery power left. I'm going to bring the Mavic back to me. Okay, we're going to do this in sport mode. Uh, the Mavic has this cool thing on the side here called sport mode. It flies extremely fast, only because my hands are frozen. So I'm going to flick it in the sport. It says, warning, what are you doing, you idiot? Don't put anything in sport mode. There's no braking distance. You're going to have to stop quick. Anyways, it tells you all this warning stuff on the screen. So I just hit OK, and here we go. Firmware looks good on the Mavic so far. My hands are frozen. Bring this thing over. I gotta spin it around because object avoidance is going nuts. It says, what are you doing? You're in front of me. I can't fly that way. So. Take my frozen hand and try to catch this thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
yeah, 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 stop complaining. Anyways, so the Mavic seems to be doing uh, quite well. Uh, no issues there. Oh my God, the bottom of this is so warm. That feels so good on the hand. Um, so I guess the firmware update did well. Same as with the Typhoon H, all is well. Firmware update's done for the month of March. Everything works well. Spring should be here at any moment. Oh, hang on, it is here, but you'd never know it. Well, stay tuned. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe. There's many more coming. Until next time, fly safe.